term limits for Baltimore City elected officials is a question that is being posed to voters on the November ballot. And later this morning, there's a rally scheduled to get support behind this initiative. WMAR2 News is Mark Roper is live outside City Hall in downtown Baltimore. So, Mark, which seats at City Hall are we talking about in reference to this ballot question? Good morning, Megan. Well, question K on the November ballot would limit the terms of the mayor, comptroller, city council president and city council members to only serving two consecutive terms or no more than eight years at any one given time. Now, a group calling itself the People for Elected Accountability and Civic Engagement, or PEACE for short, plan to speak out this morning to show their support for limiting just how long someone can hold office at Baltimore City Hall. Organizers hope limiting elected officials to serving only two terms will lead to greater accountability in Baltimore City government. The nonpartisan public policy research and education organization, the Maryland Public Policy Institute, also supports term limits. Maryland Public Policy Institute President and CEO Christopher Summers believes term limits would enable a new breed of politician to come to the forefront of local politics. The type of candidate he says sees serving in a local, local affected office as an honor and responsibility. Now, question K being posed to voters would amend the city's charter to establish a two-term limit for Baltimore City elected officials, including the mayor, comptroller, city council president, and city council members. It states, none of these elected officials shall hold office for more than eight years during any 12-year period. And it also states that if a candidate for one of these offices is elected to fill a vacancy, like when city council president Jack Young filled out the remainder of former mayor Catherine Pugh's term upon her resignation, that that candidate that may hold the office for the remainder of their predecessor's term and then only one consecutive full term thereafter. Although in that case, we saw Jack Young did not win re-election. Voters supported Brandon Scott for mayor instead. Now, if voters support this charter amendment in November, it would become effective started with candidates elected in the 2024 Baltimore City election. We're now in downtown Baltimore outside City Hall. Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.